All right, so today on Earthly Chow, we're going to be talking about um, bananas. We have six different varieties here. Um, bananas, of course, are the uh, Musa family. I, I used to have a Japanese fiber banana, uh, which is hardy down to zone seven. So if you're interested in, in growing a banana, that's a great choice. Um, no fruits, though. Um, they do die down in winter time, but then they usually sprout back up. Um, uh, they're a a interesting. The bananas are not actually a tree; they're considered an herb, uh, and they can be quite a weed in the tropics. Uh, they spread through rhizomes, um, and originally started started in Southeast Asia, but um, you know Latin America obviously is a, a very large producer now. Uh, in terms of the bananas that we have here, we have the baby banana, we've got the Thai banana, we've got the manzano or apple banana. We've got the red banana, the burro banana, the Cavendish, which is the most common one, the one you usually see in the supermarkets, and we've got a plantain. On terms of the bananas, we've got uh, the baby, as also called the ladyfinger, the ninu. Um, uh, kids love them. Uh, very sweet and creamy. Very small, obviously. You know, you put the plantain next to it, uh, you can see how tiny they are. Um, what we have to remember about a lot of these bananas, other than the uh, Cavendish, the usual type, is that um, the browner they get, uh, usually the more flavor they have. Um, so we got the baby, we got the Thai, uh, same thing, uh, taste it when it's darker. Uh, they're very sweet, they're usually fried um, in, in Thailand, that's how they eat them, and it's perfectly fine to eat all of these raw. Uh, we got the manzano apple, apple banana. Um, it's uh, when you bite into it, it's got you know obviously the banana taste, but you may have kind of a hint of uh, apple or maybe strawberry, uh, a little bit tartness in the aftertaste. These are very big and central in South America. Uh, we've got the red banana, um, which is also very creamy, um, and again, eat these when starting to get magenta. Um, and they're creamy white on the inside with pink uh, orange spots to them. And then we have the burro banana, which is um, easily recognized by sort of the, the square shape that they have. Um, very tangy, again, eat them when they're overripe, tangy, lemony, um, <clears throat> yellow with some brown spots is probably the best way to go on these. Uh, very big in Mexico. Um, the Cavendish, which is the most common banana, that's 95% of all bananas sold in the U.S., is the Cavendish. Uh, long shelf life, very disease resistant, uh, easy to get to ripen, uh, and that's why, <clears throat> you know, this really kind of rules the market. Um, we usually, you know, Americans prefer them to eat them uh, yellow without the brown on it, which makes selling these other bananas more difficult because they have their best flavor profile when they're sort of overripe, what would you consider overripe? Uh, we've got lastly, we've got the plantain. <clears throat> of course, we got green and yellow. Uh, green, uh, both of them really used for cooking. The green is uh, more starchy, kind of like potato, versus the yellow. Um, it's going to be much sweeter. Uh, yellow is perfectly fine to eat um, raw, and it tastes actually has a very good taste. I prefer to eat them just raw instead of cooking them. Um, so really that's the overview um, of the bananas that you might find in your sort of local ethnic store. So go ahead, grab some and, and give them a try.